Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. You know, when your husband asks for rice pudding several times, <laughs> it's time to make it. <laughs> yeah, put me to work to make it. You're supposed to make it. <laughs> all right, this is a really easy recipe. What you see right here is all we're gonna need to make this delicious old-fashioned rice pudding. This recipe comes from my mom who passed it on to me and it's also in my cookbook number one here and we're going to put it right here. So if you want to follow along if you have my first cookbook and you want to make the rice pudding it's on page 74. All right are you ready? Uh, sure. All right now the first thing you want to make sure that you have is some long grain white rice uncooked and then you're going to need some milk sugar cinnamon salt and vanilla that's it all right we're gonna put him to work yeah go figure to make his own rice pudding that means i don't have to share it with anyone right Okay, we're all set up over here with a medium saucepan over a burner. Now we don't have the burner on yet. To our saucepan, we're gonna add three and a half cups of milk. And then to that, we're gonna add half a cup of our uncooked long grain rice. Now this is what we use right here. This is a basmati rice. We're gonna add, let's see, one third cup of sugar. Should I just put my pinky in there and make it as sweet as this? <laughs> no. Ah. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of some salt. Oh look, it's magically right there. <laughs> It was measured out. <laughs> it's back. There you go. All right. Now what we're going to do is put our burner on to a high heat. We're going to bring this to a boil and... Maybe about 400? Yeah, about 400. We're going to stir this continually until we get to a boil. I see why I'm having to do this now. <laughs> why not? Now it makes sense. <laughs> All right, so this, this is my cookbook right here. I also have a cookbook too right here. They'll both be linked down below in my description box, or you can find the cookbooks in a tab in my blog, www.catherinesplates.com. So we're heating everything up in the pan here. What it does is it helps that rice to start cooking. Yeah, we'll bring you back when we get to a boil stage here. All right, so we're starting to get to that boiling stage here. What we're gonna do is turn off our burner. Okay, now what you're gonna need is a one and a half quart baking dish, pretty deep one. Now this is a two quart, so you can go up to a two quart if you wanna do that. We're gonna take this mixture. Okay, first off, we're gonna spray our baking dish here. And then we're gonna take this mixture and put it into our baking dish here. All right, so make sure that you get all the rice out of the pan here. What we're gonna do now is get some foil and we're gonna cover this nice and tight or if you have a lid that fits it, then you can use that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you do that. I do this. Okay. Okay, we've got our oven preheating at 325 degrees. This is going to go in. This is going to take a whole hour process. But So every 15 minutes, we're going to pull this out of the oven, take the foil off your lid, give it a stir, put it back in the oven, and then we're going to do that two times and then on the third time we're going to meet you back here and show you what we're going to do before we put it back in the oven all right we'll be back it's hot <laughs> all right. we just pulled 
this out of the oven. We're going to go ahead and take the foil off. Now this has been the 15 minutes. You're going to take your wooden spoon and you're going to give it a stir. Okay, we're going to put our foil back on um, very carefully. We're going to put it back in the oven for 15, another 15 minutes. All right, we're going to take off the foil. Give it another stir. Oh, yeah, starting to thicken, thicken up. up. All right, look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to place the foil back on. It's going to go back in the oven for 15 minutes. All right, we're going to go ahead now and take off the foil. This is the third time around, so what we're going to do is add one teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're going to stir that in. Now you can see that the rice is getting really nice and soft. We're going to give this a stir. Oh, look at that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place the foil back on it. We're going to place it back in the oven for about 15 minutes until that rice is nice and tender. All right, we've pulled it out for the last time. We're going to take the foil off carefully. Okay, we're going to give this a stir. All right, we're going to let this rest on the countertop to kind of absorb all of those liquids that are left in here and plump up the rice even more. And when this is cooled down, it'll be warm enough for us to give it a try for you. All right, so that was a full hour. Now, when you think about desserts that you cook in the oven and then allow to rest, you know, it takes over an hour, which is what this was right here. It's just that we had to kind of monitor this every 15 minutes to kind of give it a stir and everything so the rice didn't stick to the bottom of the dish. There you go. Easy, delicious, I'm sure we're going to find out right now. Okay, it is nice and warm. The heat is out of it. Look at how it absorbed the rest of that liquid. We're going to put it in a bowl. Thomas is going to add some cinnamon to his. And then we're going to give this a try for you. Check out that rice pudding. It's nice and warm still. Yep, Thomas put his cinnamon on. <laughs> I put mine on, a very little. All right, we're ready to take our bite. Mm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's so sweet. It's delicious. Nice and creamy. Mmm. It's like a sugar milk. Yeah. It is. Absorbed right into the rice. <laughs> Just what the, the doctor little, ordered. Yeah. A little touch of vanilla, some cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Very delicious. Don't forget you can find this recipe in my first cookbook or you can find it on www.catherinesplates.com. Just search for rice pudding and then click on it and then you can make your own old-fashioned rice pudding. It's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below your favorite recipe for rice pudding. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when recipes like this one come out. We will see you on the next episode. Bye. This show is mm. good. Mm-hmm. Mm.